let's pray it out together. All right. Okay. You, it can't hurt, man. Let's can make. I gotta make sure this program works, dude. Yes. Okay. I'm in Harvard. We're in Harvard. All the intelligence in the universe. Let's add a little faith to it. Yes. These are beautiful. This guy is an internet marketing freaking genius. You guys know Ryan Dice, okay? But what you don't know about him is when you put him in a church, yeah. the, the guy, it starts flowing. It's a preacher. It's a yeah, preacher I thought thing. he was the pastor. And, for I, and I, also bake, uh, I also bake bread. I've been wanting to interview you for years, okay? We're gonna go jump on the plane and I'm gonna, I wanna introduce you to my audience, what you're doing. I know you got a big conference coming up in San Diego every we do. year, y'all yeah. do? Yeah, we do. How many people go to that deal? About uh, five, 6,000. Have I ever done that deal? Have I ever been invited to that chair? Yeah. Dice. Yeah. Let's keep it small. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't bring in the Maverick. Damon John calls me the cowboy. He's like, dude, you're hard to work with. <laughs> you're hard guy to work with. So look, we're gonna go jump on the plane. All, all right. right. Let's. Uh, man, I dropped you off in Austin, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta meet. Just a little. Just hang a left. Where's your meeting? I know. It's it in seems Vegas. like it's the least. You <laughs> it's practically out of the way. Do you have a parachute? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we try not to use those except good, on good. dire occasions. Yeah. So no, no shit. I've been, I've been dying to meet you and get to know you and, and know what you're doing. Um, and, uh, and and learn from you, you know. So because I, I know we do a lot of things wrong. Just keep pushing, but so, so I look forward to you. That's why we gotta pray. Uh -huh. Pray for better email campaigns. Dude, I will definitely pray to make a open the open that email, please. Okay, I know, I know. You know, what's your specialty? What, what what is the thing you do better than anybody else? It really comes down to architecting that that initial that initial journey from when they discover who you are and what are the stages to take them uh -huh. all throughout. So we call it marketing or we call it sales, but we're just trying to do the same thing, which is transform strangers into friends, into customers, into raving fans. Yeah. So figuring out how does that happen and how do we leverage technology to do it, that's kind of what, that's what we're about as a digital marketer. How bad do I mess up? And when you see my stuff, I know you look at it a little bit, you're like, too much, strong, too aggressive, is out of sequence. No, I mean, look, it, it has to do with being consistent with the, with the brand and who you are. So it's not a value, it's like, is it good or is it bad? I think you gotta know, uh, you gotta know your audience, you gotta know where you are, but you know, the messaging is, is, is that on it? You know you guys are good. You got, you got a plane. You can't be doing anything like that, man. <laughs> I, but you know my kids are like, hey, Papa, are we going to go to college? I said, baby, you're going to either go to Harvard, Yale, or MIT. And if you go there, just go there to meet. Don't worry you don't about have, don't, you don't have to go to class? No. I said, you, need, you don't need to go to class. You need to go there for the connections. Ryan will teach you everything. There you go. So you just learn from Ryan. Pick up my pro. Seems pick. like I need to raise my prices. Yeah, sure. Harvard. Coming at you. Are we ready? We coffee? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. So we'll see you guys on the plane. Hey, so look, uh, we made it back from Harvard. Yes. I feel smarter. I feel more smarter than ever. And we brought our Sweet Sam's ice carrot cake. I know some of you are going to want to know, did Cardone steal it or did Dice steal it? Yeah. Okay. Neither one of us stole it. We bought it. Okay. First we sold her on it, then we bought it. And so, it's paleo. Dude, great. Paleo? What does that it's mean? paleo. Oh, it is? No carbs. Oh. No, it's live. It's all 100%. I'm just going to take the just top off. Sugar. <laughs> this is what internet marketers want to do, too. They just want to take the top just off. Just skim the top off. Right? So yeah. let's talk about that. All right. We're, we're in your world. You know, I, I, I know you came out of sales. I, I'm a hard sales guy. When does, when does that internet world, the marketing internet, converge with real sales? Yeah, I mean, so the whole time we're just looking at, at what is the journey that, that somebody comes through, right? What is the initial awareness? How, does, how, do, how do all these things happen? It used to be, you know, when I got started in sales, I'm guessing when you did too, yeah. the awareness happened when you dialed a number and somebody picked up on the other line or when you knock, knocked on a door, right? Now that's happening on the web. So more and more digital is driving kind of the earlier part of the process, but at some point it's still a human being right. making a sales pitch to another human being. Now that might be you know, online, it might be through an online video, something like that, or it might be still over the phone or face to face, but it's more, you know, the web really lives and, and the, the biggest thing is getting it early uh -huh. and, and also facilitating the follow-up, right? So enabling that. So, so when, when, when you talk about facilitating the follow-up, right? like is that being done 
in your world, is it being done with just uh, just a computer, just the internet, or is it being done with phone calls, combinations? Yeah, I mean, so a lot of that's gonna gonna depend on what are you selling and what's your average customer value. I mean, if you're selling a you know a seven dollar spoon and knife fork uh -huh. combination, you probably can't afford to like you know dollar for dollars. But absolutely, I mean, the, you know, the phone is still there, but more times than not, it's gonna be email being yeah. sent. It's gonna be you know Facebook retargeting ads to just stay in people's world so that when you do make that outbound effort, uh -huh. you're not, they're not like, who are you again? It's like, oh, that's weird. You've been everywhere. Yeah. You know, this effect that we can now create through a digital landscape. So marketing now is, it, it's the full extent. I mean, it's gonna touch everything. Uh -huh. But to think that it can be totally divorced from sales, is just not yeah, because, realistic. Because, dude, I have so many people come visit us in Miami and they come to the back room and they see, first of all, you see the front room, the, the e-commerce guys, 25 years old, uh, male and female, they're doing their deal, you know, they're using social and push and email. And then they go to the back of the, the place and they see these guys on the phone, totally different energy. And they're like, yeah. what is? what are these guys doing? Yeah. I'm like, these guys are following up yeah. on those things that were done in the front. Yeah. And I don't know why I can't get the front to like embrace what the back does. Well, I'll tell you what, what I did. So anytime we're gonna go, whether it's launch a new company, a new product, for me, it always starts with, whether it's the phone or face-to-face, -face, but it always starts with talking. Because uh -huh. if they're up here doing this, I don't know how they know what they're supposed to be typing if they haven't been talking. Right, right, right. So it always has to start with, with talking and communicating you know, with the customers. So we always sell it, uh -huh. figure out how do we sell it you know, face to face. Because if I can't make that work, still the, right, the most right. efficient sales mechanism by far is face to face. Yeah. If you can't sell what you got face to face, don't think that so, the so, internet's so, gonna so save So Ron, you. how important then is it for somebody that's doing e-commerce to understand just sales fundamentals? It's essential. And uh -huh. even and even the ones who think that they aren't doing it, they are. Yeah. They're just not giving credit where credit's yeah. due. Right. They right, think they're right. inventing something new and that's adorable, I guess, but it's not they're not learning and they're not getting better. Because uh -huh. they think that truly what they're doing is unique. The only thing that has changed is the medium has changed. Just like when the phone happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sales was not, sales, it's not like there were no selling for the phone, right? That was a new media. That right, was a, right, new, right. A, uh, a new medium through which to sell. You know, TV, radio, yeah, yeah. video, all these things stay. So now I have this to communicate with. Yeah, it's just another media. It's so another do, I, do I need to understand then the, the basic, like, how to build rapport, how to make contact, how to build rapport, find out what somebody's needs are, land them on a product, pitch it. Build it's all, value, close, follow up, negotiate. Like it's all the same things. I mean, even if you look, so marketers speak in terms of funnels, uh -huh, right? Yeah. Salespeople speak in terms of like sales pipelines. It's the same thing, just turned sideways. So I mean, it really yeah, is. Yeah, but, it, but in your world, I see there's a common thread between guys that are like, they get empathy. It's the first thing Jared told me to do. Oh, go get empathy with the audience. Right. Then they typically say, hey, we're not doing sales. This is for people that don't like to do sales. Right. But I don't think that you're like promoting like this is not a sales game. No, I mean, again, depending on the audience, you might have to, going back to the empathy, we might have to alter our vocabulary uh -huh. and maybe use some hipster approved terminology, but it is still sales. I mean, at the end of the day, where we start any marketing campaign is I have to know who am I gonna be talking to? I have to be crystal clear on where are they now? So we call that their before state, right? So what is somebody's before state? What do they have? How do they feel? What's an average day like? Uh -huh. um, what's their status? And wow. how does my product or service impact all of those? So that's where we start, and then we'll chart what is their ideal after. Mm -hmm. And all marketing really is at the end of the day is painting a picture at scale for how your product or service is a vehicle that will transport someone from that less desirable before to that more desirable after. Now, how that's any different from selling uh, I don't know. It is. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. all just sales. That's all. You get a. You, skin, you're just saying I can do it person. now to ten thousand people at right. a time or more, right? Rather than just knocking on Johnny's door one at a time. The new media gave us new scale, but mm -hmm. uh -huh. there's always a trade-off, right? Anytime you you're always trading you, conversion rate you lose for some scale. Personal, of course. Yeah. And, and that's where the people who say, now that we have the internet, we don't need to sell face to face. Uh -huh. We're leaving so much money on the table. Right, so you've got people, like you said, who on the e-com side, they're generating the leads, they're doing some basic filtering, but you still want the sales teams to close them. I mean, yeah. we got to sell, we're digitalmarketer.com, and uh -huh. the biggest, our biggest department is sales. Right. 
So uh, look, look, I go to Barney's site and I don't buy from Barney's. I, I go to Gucci's site and I don't buy the slippers from Gucci's. I would love for somebody yeah. from Gucci to say, dude, I saw you hit these slippers, you know, we got another pair in, but yeah. nobody ever does that. Like how, how much retail is being missed because that internet marketer refuses to embrace this tradition. Well, and, and what you're doing, if, if they don't, you're just saying, you're deciding now that you're going to lose to Amazon. Uh -huh. That's just it. I mean, you were deciding now that you were going to lose to Amazon if you're not willing to engage because the, the act of engagement, person to person, is the only advantage that you're really going to have over, over Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, right. Period, end of story. So if you tell me you're in the e-com space and you're not building a direct relationship, you're not building community, you're not doing any type of outbound, any type of follow-up, just you're deciding now. You don't. You may not realize it. You know, you're deciding passively, but you're deciding now. Amazon's going to I'm be giving it to, the, to Goliath. I'm giving it. I'm giving it to them when they decide they want it. Yeah. What What do you see going on right now? Like, like, is there any kind of shift? Any kind of metamorphosis going on? Yeah. What's funny is um, this this whole idea of of chat. You know, chat has been around. Live chat has been around for a long time. We're. It's now getting to a point where um, there's technology that's making it work at scale. Uh, but still, you have to know. How do I, so now, now when somebody comes to your website, right, you can actually have a bot yeah, talking yeah. to that person, yeah. right? So that's the new big thing, yeah. bots, yeah, But AI, does it work? Because when the bot hits me, uh -huh. you know, hey, is there something I can help you with, you know? Because that's, a, it, that you and I both know, that's a really terrible opening line for a sales conversation, uh -huh. right? If you walk into a retail place and they say, uh, you know, so you walk into a retail place like, hey, can I help you with anything? What do we say? No, no just yeah. looking. Yeah. Only about 100% of the time. Then they walk off and now you do have a question, you're looking for them and you're pissed off that they're not there. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah exactly. So I'm the, like, hey, the they're ignoring the me thing. now. So on the, on the chat, what, what we're doing is, is we're asking uh, a binary question. We're asking a simple yes, B no. Binary means what? Meaning it's a simple yes, no, this or that. Uh -huh. So we're not asking the person to- Open-ended uh, yeah, conversation. Some, some kind of thing, not yet. It's just so if somebody hits a web page. so for us, a digital marketer, one of our uh, big audiences is agencies, right? We wanna work with agencies who are doing the work, we wanna equip them. Um, they're not only a customer of ours, but they're also a channel. So they're highly, highly valuable. A agency group. means what? So a digital agency is, okay. is, would be a company that's running Facebook advertising or doing okay. copywriting or any of that type of work. Because we're on the training side. We're not doing the services. So we want to uh -huh. partner with people who are doing the services. So these folks come to particular web pages and yeah, we could ask them, hey, do you have a question? Want to chat? That doesn't work. If instead we say, um, quick question, are you an agency or a consultant? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh great! How you know that, that's awesome. Welcome. You're definitely in the right place. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in business? X number of years. Right. right. A right. bot can do that, uh -huh. and then a bot can be programmed to loop in to round robin to a salesperson saying, "Hey, I got a live one. Right. Right. I got right, a real person right. who's ready for a real live human conversation." So we can ask you know three or four questions. The bot can ask three or four filtering questions, mm -hmm. and then. When, when it's ready, then it can kick it over to the sales team. But so so how much time is somebody going to have to spend, though, to program that chat? Let's say, let's say I'm, I'm giving a free book away. Right. So I'm, uh, we're offering my real estate book for free. Mm -hmm. And a guy goes there, and he's just hung up on the page. I mean, it's a free book. There's no catch. Yep. But he doesn't hit, he doesn't hit it. The, yep. the, the bot would come up and say, what, what would be a good question for so a So a good question book? might be, um, uh, you know, are you, you know, Quick question: Are you know are you an active real estate investor or uh -huh. just getting started? Yeah, yeah, that's right? good. So not, that not, not one, about the book so much, right? Huh? Are you yeah, an active uh -huh. real real estate investor or just getting started? There's no wrong answer, uh -huh. right? Yeah, yeah. I'm an active real estate investor. Hey, fantastic! You know, you might want to check this out too, or, or maybe what you want to say is, hey, this book's you know really better for beginners. You might want to check this one out. A uh -huh. bot can uh -huh. do that. Uh -huh. um, it, so you asked how long would it take to program? Yeah, that? yeah, forever. Back right. in the day, you're, you're, but it now because there's technology solutions like Drift, you know, dot com, like Intercom, some of these other, uh, even like a lot of the CRMs are beginning to build it in. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as writing, uh, you know, if you're familiar with email autoresponders, it's literally the same thing wow. as crafting an email autoresponder. Wow. Wow. What's the sequence? How do you want it to go? So that's a big change, yeah, and yeah, that's a big yeah, deal. Yeah. But what, where everybody screws it up is they declare, ah. Oh, now that bots are here, we don't need salespeople. Uh -huh. Wrong. Wrong, right. The bot is there to filter. You uh -huh. still need uh -huh. somebody on the other end to have that real life human to human conversation. And so the biggest shift that I'm seeing is just that, right? It's all heading back to human to human. Uh -huh. It's not So, B2B, so not automate to a robot. Auto combine automation with, yeah. with the human experience. Exactly. It is, it is better 
facilitating real H to H, real human to human interaction. It's uh -huh. not trying to exclude them from it. Uh, you, you, you said when we were walking to the plane that, that uh, you, you've been doing a bunch of stuff in Germany and around the world. Like, what, what are some of the places you've been to and, and, and then what are their questions? So the, uh, yeah, so we've been, you know, Australia, there's a lot going on right now in Singapore. I mean, the internet is everywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so it, they're now, companies are, and, and people all over the world are realizing that, um, that you know, that, that they can do it too. Mm -hmm. The barriers literally are going down Brazil right now. Oh my gosh, the entrepreneurial uh, energy and fervor right now in Brazil. Uh, and, and what, it, it's funny, the question is, so you asked what are the questions I'm hearing? What I used to hear yeah. was, how can I get my product or service, how can I market it to people in the States? Mm -hmm. Now the question is, they're less concerned about how do I market to the States, it's how do I market it within my own geography because e-commerce buying is increasing worldwide. Uh -huh. uh, China in particular, uh, when, when we talk to people in China, they're not that interested in selling to the States anymore uh -huh. because the Chinese economy is doing they're well They're building enough. a middle class. Yeah, they've got a middle class larger than our middle class. They're buying like crazy. When I was in a mall in China looking at a kid's bicycle, the exact same kid's bicycle that would be in a Walmart or something here in the States for the exact same price. Wow. And it didn't have to take a boat from China all the way over here. Uh -huh. And it, they're still charging you know, the same price. The so you're saying the margin, the margin there is probably bigger than... than oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And they don't have a, a larger middle class these developing nations don't have a larger middle class by percentage, but in terms of just the number of humans, right, right, a massive population, right, um, it, it's big over there. So is that is that is the Chinese consumer? Are they going to a store, or are they they buying their stuff? They probably like going to the store right now because they're yeah, it's a little they're bit, starting to touch stuff for the first time. Right? It's a little bit both. So the luxury yeah. market, they want to go in the store because they want to make sure that it's that, it, yeah. that it's real. But what's what's fascinating about other countries that don't have this, this idea of an online store, they're doing way more shopping through chat apps. Uh -huh. So if you think about these different chat applications, so Facebook Messenger being one that probably most people would be familiar with, um, uh, there's... Uh, but but, but uh, look, the guy knows it's a bot, right? In most cases, yeah, they know they're a bot. Yeah, but, so but I mean, how do you feel chat? about knowing that, hey dude, I'm, 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 I'm chatting with the damn computer? So the... I it, mean, we're... Hopefully the people aren't having these like in-depth intimate conversations uh, right Although oh, so sure you're saying it's just two or three or four questions yeah. just to find out where this guy goes yeah it's a couple of questions it, it's it's a way better experience than the push button phone like press two for this department uh -huh. you know press this it's that same kind of process but brought into a into an online environment where yeah. it could just be made to feel a lot more human than a radio voice over the phone being like Please. well dude look i, I definitely got to get my chat my chat game on because I know I'm missing it chats, there. Chat's big. You know? Chat's big. It's, it's not going to be less people on the phone, but when the phones happen, when the phone calls happen, they're going to be further well, my, down my, the my guy would be like, hey, man, this guy's real. He, 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 he's, yeah. And it could be a problem, right? Like Absolutely. he hit my site, didn't get his book, he's been waiting for it, and he wants to invest in the fund. And he's like, he needs a human being now. Yep. And once you solve the problem, that's the best time to, you know, to, to send him on up. The, and yeah, the, the other beautiful thing about chat I'll, I'll just throw this out there. And I, I don't, by the way, I don't own a chat. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he digs like chat, that. but the dude is yeah, in the chat right now. It is. I, I do like it because I can have a salesperson. They can be maintaining three or four simultaneous conversations. You can't do that over the phone. Yeah, right. You got right, one. So they right. can be chatting with somebody here, go to a different one, chat with somebody uh -huh. over here. And the next generation coming up, right, they're, they're hip to that. Right. They're, con they're having 15 billion conversations at the same time with a bunch of different friends. They're maintaining that conversation flow. So yeah. to an extent, all this texting is prepping the next generation of salespeople. At least that's how I make myself feel better about my children's uh, cell phone activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dude, <laughs> look, look. I, I had a guy come in my office one day. He's like, you got 30 different freaking browsers open. Yeah. And your phone. And about it, I had two phones on my desk. And he's like, how do you do this? I'm like, that's what you got to do. Bro. Yeah. You got to keep all these conversations going. Spinning plates. I mean, it's not a new thing, right? Close one. That's probably less money. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, I'd like to close one, open two more. Yeah. Um, what, so what are you doing? What are you up to right now? I know you got your event in San Diego. Yeah, so... Um, it's an annual event, right? Absolutely. Traffic uh -huh. Conversion Summit is coming up in San Diego in February. We're going on our 10th year. Wow. 10 years. Um, so very thankful for all the folks who've been coming out to that. Excited about that. We're actually launching a, uh, we're launching a new uh, software application in the uh, corporate learning area that, that really combines learning management with process management to make it easier to train teams. Oh, I'll wow. tell you, the biggest thing that I believe right now is we are shifting back to an apprenticeship 
economy. Uh-huh. We were shifting back to a skills-based economy, and we were just Harvard, right? Yeah. I, I'm not anti-intellectual. I'm not anti-education, but the reality is, is the Harvards, the Yales, they're not training people for the skills that I know I need to hire for. Yeah, yeah, and right. And probably that you That's do right. as well. And so it's really shifting back to like the, an on-the-job training type process. Yeah. That's what we hire people Where, where I'm getting real attention in. from somebody that's yeah. teaching me how to use a camera in this case, or a microphone. Absolutely. Not just reading about it. Yeah, because they're not going to, they're probably not going to school for that. They're probably not going to school for, you know, digital marketing. It's just changing too fast. They uh-huh. can't keep up. And that's so many different um, fields of study that are in that area. And, and so we want to really build a solution that, uh, that kind of powers that aspect of it, so, so so, excited about yeah. that. Yeah, and, and so what like what kind of companies or individuals come to your San Diego deal or or hire your company? I mean, it, it's literally it's it's everything from the small one two person shop, butcher baker, candlestick maker, you know, all the way up to, to large companies like Uber and uh, you know what company doesn't need digital marketing? Right, right. And, um, and and the thing that we've always been about is we just say here's what's working. You know, we're not researchers. We don't. We don't give theory. We said we tried this, uh-huh. it worked. We tried this, it didn't. You right. might want to do that one, but hey, make your own decision. Right. So it is truly companies of all sizes, uh, agencies, so that they can come out and learn what's working now, so they can take those back to their clients. A lot of speaker, author, expert, consultant, e-commerce people. Again, it's, well, I need I need your help, dude. It's only we, we, I, I'm I'm hungry. I'm hungry yeah. to grow. You know, and and uh, I know I know when I go outside the U.S., the the hunger there, people want it's, to do it's, well. It's so beautiful. It really is. Right. Yeah, it's, it's like great. a voracious appetite to. In Southeast Asia right now, in in South America, it is. It, it reminds me of when I, I I started my very first business, made my first sale online for my freshman dorm room in 1999, and uh, in the I remember the entrepreneurial energy that was happening at that moment, and I I don't know if it was the Great Recession or if just we're too fat and happy. Uh huh. Um, but so much of the energy and deals, I'm not saying it's gone, but it's it's not like it was then oh, and you when think, I you go, think it's 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 yeah, it's less it's, now I think it's less now wow. which is unfortunate because there's more opportunity now than ever than, than ever before and just the expectation of I've got an idea I'm going to start it I'm going to go raise some venture capital you know I'm going to be the next whatever yeah it's not it's not the gritty hunger that uh-huh. like let's just go make some money it's let's go prove out this idea so that somebody else can get me money. It's the celebration of the of the funding round uh-huh. as opposed yeah, to the yeah, celebration yeah. of the of the big sale or the exit. And um, and I just I, I see what's going on in, in a lot of the other other countries. I'd say you know I'm, I'm patriotic. And that doesn't happen there. It doesn't happen. You don't see it happen in there. It's, it, 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 there it, it's it is that that gritty hunger. That, yeah that yeah. So what he's talking about right here there. is like you know when I grew up it was I was knocking on doors. I wasn't even using a phone. It was like door to door. Yep. Hey, will you see me? In 1999, he's making his first sales on the internet, and he's saying there's companies all over Phoenix. Austin. My day job, by the way, was dialing for dollars. Uh-huh. My day job was making 100 calls a day in wow. financial services. Wow. So yeah. And 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 there's these unicorn companies now that are basically coming up with a concept, going out to the market, raising money, selling nothing. Yep. It's an idea. It's a concept, right? So Blackstone comes in and pays for it, yeah. or whatever company. Yeah. Can I use that? Can I yeah, use yeah, that's right. so or Goldman or whoever, right? Yep. They come in and they fund it. Say, hey, here's twenty million, twenty-one million. Here's twenty-one million. Boom, take the twenty-one and now build something into it. And you're like, but that's where's the business? What's getting celebrated. Yeah, the yeah, right. The right, funding rounds right. are what's getting celebrated, as opposed to, and that's not value creation. Right, right, right. right. Value creation happens when the sale is made right. to somebody who should be buying the product and they their life has changed. Again, they move yeah, from that yeah. less desirable before state to that more desirable uh-huh. after. That's they got a better that camera, a better house, yeah, a better... their life is better. Yeah, yeah. That's when value creation occurs. It does yeah. not occur at the funding round. But I'm seeing that is the thing that's talked about. That's the hot, yeah. sexy thing. Love that, dude. I and, love uh, value creation. And then, and what you're seeing is that, that same gritty hunger because they don't have access to the same capital. That's what I'm seeing in these other places. And uh, I'll tell you, you know, America, watch out. Yeah. We, you were going to say you're very, you're patriotic, but you I'm were going to get ready. But, but we but, can't, we can't act like we invented entrepreneurialism yeah, exactly. and it's ours or, to or hold do betterment, forever. betterment. Exactly. Right? Like, I told my wife, I said we moved from California to Miami, and I said, you know, this might not be our last move. Like, if the U.S. keeps going about its dumb ass way, yeah. I mean, I can hop out of here too. So. Yeah. Well, I'm what though? Huh? What? What? How would you leave? Well. <laughs> You know, if I don't, only you had a convenient. You way know, to look, when when I study the really successful people, they 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 travel. 
Yeah. They're mercurial. That was part of the reason for this is that like they're mobile, they're moving around, they're making these connections. So when you talk to me about Brazil, Germany, wherever you're going, I'm like, dude, I'm so interested in going to those places. Yeah. It's, a lot of people there. They're, they're, they're smart and they're hungry. And what's great is for us, so here's a way that we can, in most cases, they're five to seven years behind. Yeah. So the yeah. stuff here that are getting, that's getting really hard, you can take to these other places and uh -huh. it works really, really well. Ryan Dice, okay, true power player right here. First interview on the plane, dude. Yes. I'm, I'm glad you broke it in right It was a man. blast, yeah. And I look forward to doing some more stuff with you, man. He's cool in Austin, thing. name of the company is? Digitalmarketer.com. Yeah, check him out, digitalmarketing.com. And what, what's your favorite uh, so, social media? Do you have a favorite? Uh, LinkedIn. I'm very active on LinkedIn and uh -huh. also Twitter. So okay. Ryan right. Dice, D-E-I-S-S. -S. And then we got to figure out how to do some other stuff together. Let's man. do it. Let's make some money together. Let's do it, man. I'm Let's down. make some money together and make some money with them. All I'm, right. I'm all for it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. People love to be right. <laughs>how many of you want to sell more products how do you grow a business top line move the top line sell businesses I don't want to waste more than five minutes on three thousand dollars the question is what if I want to monetize my content ideas it's gonna be a great product and a great service you don't need to go prove it tried Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and have no clue why you're not getting leads, followers, or any traction? Have you worked with other agencies and then nothing happened? 10X Productions, Grant Cardone's digital advertising agency, is now available for you to get on track with social media lead generation, full-scale training, and production. We'll get you the leads and give you the training to understand your social media and how to build a brand better. Just go to CardoneAdvertising.com. That's CardoneAdvertising.com to get your free marketing assessment and we will get you on the road to the right marketing and all of your business needs. Visit Cardone Advertising right now. Automatons or artificial beings capable of independent thought have been a fixture of science fiction, literature, and motion pictures throughout time. Today, the convergence of technology and imagination has reached new heights, which are reflected in the advancements that we see in every area of our lives. Over the last couple of years, AI machines have made their way into our homes, the battlefield, our workplace, and even into our hands in the form of smartphones with voice recognition. Digital assistants for the home represent an opportunity if you know how to take advantage of them. That is where Nico's Computer Engineering comes in. Tim Clark brings you the latest news about the most up-to-date strategies to position yourself in the digital landscape. Finding a path to productive business applications and how to automate them with artificial intelligence are just a few of the topics we cover in our weekly segments. Nico Computer Engineering is here to find a unique solution for you. The reality is that if you haven't walked in those boots, you really don't know what it's all about. You don't know what it's like to be homeless. You don't know what it's like to be alone. One day, 
you are in an organization where your brother is covering your back and the next day you have no idea what you're going to do next. You don't have a plan for your life. Your family doesn't understand you. Friends, relatives, nobody. Well, there are answers. We have a plan and a system to get you where you want to go in life. We have a group of people that care about your situation to help you in every area of your life and to make you the best person you were designed to be. To learn more, go to facebook.com slash lyman.dev.grp. Growing your future, protecting your past. J.D. Frost & Company, PLLC, is a public accounting firm, offers a variety of assurance and tax services to businesses and individuals in the Chattanooga and surrounding areas. We focus on construction and manufacturing industries. Our primary objective is client satisfaction through excellent customer service. Work with the best. We are accredited by the BBB. This is JD Frost and Company for a full suite of tax assurance and management accounting services. Visit us right now at frostcpas.com. Marco Santorelli of Narada Real Estate is the foremost expert in getting your money to work for you. At Narada, most people do not have the time to invest or do the work it takes to grow their wealth. Marco and his team will handle it. Working in 16 markets nationwide, Marco and his team will help set up a strategy to take you through step-by-step -step how to invest your money the right way and get you earning 8% returns from day one. If you need financing, we have it handled. The inspection for your property, if you need titles done, we have it handled. This is a one-stop shop to get you involved in the real estate. Game. Narada Real Estate and Marco Santorelli will ensure that you have what you need to start investing the right way. To learn more, visit naradarealestate.com. That's naradarealestate.com. The more comfortable you get with yourself, the less scary it is for people to actually see you. We all know as parents that there's nothing more powerful than a mother's love. And how can I be that extraordinary parent for my kids? And how kind we are to each other. The more that you love you, the less you care if others love you. The idea is to really just choose to be with yourself. The challenges and the struggles and the frustrations and the self-doubt and insecurities can often keep us from living. We can master our lives from the inside out. Chris Rude of Hustle Wholesaling. Chris is in the uh, interesting uh, real estate space, but he's figured out a little niche of it, flipping deals, what he calls hotailing and wholesaling. I wanna show you how to get into real estate without making all the mistakes I have. He actually doesn't own the real estate. What he does is he buys a contract. He basically, you don't actually buy the contract, you control the contract. Correct. Visit chrisrude.com to book a call right now. This will be our third fund, it's a $40 million fund. So we're giving people a chance now to say, hey, I wanna be involved in big, big, giant real estate deals that pay money. These are deals that are doing anywhere from 160 to 200% returns. You put a million dollars into a deal and you're coming out with two, two to three million dollars, but it's gonna take 10 years. This is not get rich quick, okay? If you're taking notes, write this down. Don't, don't do the get rich quick, man. Go for the get rich for sure. I don't need to get rich quick. I want to get rich for sure. So I'm going to go for 4,000 units. How many do you think I should go to? I'm going to go to 40,000 units. This is what I'm going to do, and this is why I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to 40,000 units, and I'm going to get the whole world involved in it. You're either going to invest with me, or you're going to actually help me raise these funds. Okay, so when you see me on social media talking about other stuff, anything that you see me talking about, what I'm doing is building an audience so I can allow people to get in a vehicle to where everybody gets rich. Because let me tell you something, if you want to make happy customers for life, make them money. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. People love to be right. How many of you want to sell more products? How do you grow a business? Top line, move the top line, sell businesses. I don't want to waste more than five minutes on $3,000.
The question is, what if I want to monetize my content ideas? It's going to be a great product and a great service. You don't need to go prove it. Experience that you will never ever forget. Oh,